Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. It is the 24th of May morning, almost noon actually. We're getting ready to eat a little lunch and then go pick up Nathan. Now let's have a little fun. I saw a bunch of really super funny pictures on the DP Review forum. They have to do with signs. That's the theme, signs. Here's a gentleman on a bridge, obviously a pedestrian bridge. There's a sign prohibiting all sorts of activities. No driving, no biking, no dog walking, and especially no roller skating. Oh, no, no, no. But it didn't say anything about playing the accordion and singing. I think he got you guys. I think he got them. He got the city on this one. All right. That is pretty cool. This is about a... Uh, a park with a miniature choo-choo train and it has a sign that says trespassers will be prosecuted by order i say oh no 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 they will not be prosecuted they will be eaten by this tree <laughs> don't mess with a tree i'm telling you do not i think they have a mind of their own all right don't mess with the tree by the way Printing these on the remaining uh, bit of the enhanced mat. I have about 50 feet left. I ordered two rolls, 100 foot long, of what was supposed to be Epson Pro matte paper. It ended up being this. Standard proofing paper production. 240 grams. It is a matte surface. No, semi-matte surface. I'll go ahead and uh, try it. I contacted the seller and he apologized and said he would send me two rolls of pro mat at no cost to me and to keep these how could i refuse i hope they come soon but again i'm going to go ahead and test that i think it'll work out just fine for regular photos okay another sign says this is a private sign do not read it <laughs> Yep, it's private, all right. You can't even read it. And it is for a art bar, Latrica. Latrica. Maybe this is in Europe somewhere. I don't know. It seems like a lot of these are from Europe, maybe. I love this one. Uh, elephant crossing sign. Yep, awesome. Where are the elephants? I don't see them, but... I would not take my eye away from the road or the uh, right or left side of this piece of land. There might just be a, an elephant nearby. Cool. What do we have here? Ah, <laughs> Shell gasoline sign. Yeah, I guess the tree doesn't like polluters. Because that tree just ate that sign. Glob, glob, glob. Mm -hmm. Munched it right up. Again, don't mess with a tree. That's my moral to this story. I like this one. Keep off grass. Yeah, it's always a good idea when you have a nice lawn. Don't let people walk or trample over it. Um... Maybe they mean by next season, maybe next year. Uh, not right now. <laughs> I don't even know what the heck this is, but I love it. Just keep off grass. And there were a bunch more like this that are really, really cool. All right, that was it. I just felt like having a little fun and I don't have to worry about color management or any of that stuff. Sharpening, who cares, just print them. They were all very low resolution. Q-Image still did a fantastic job of pressing them to that size, as always. All right, next I found some really cool images, landscapes of Australia. And I have a couple of really good friends and viewers from Australia that shoot and enjoy these. A lot of these probably are well known to those two people. So I will be printing those in the Pro 1, probably on letter size uh, luster paper. Give it a little more oomph because they are very colorful and very pretty. In fact, not just pretty, but beautiful. 
All right, thank you once again. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And by the way, I did a little bit more with my streaming experiment, and I was able to get it to work. But what is recommended by this very good person who specializes in this has a series of three videos, one, two, and three, taking you through every single steps how to set up the most commonly used streaming encoding program, which is Open Source Broadcast Studio, or OBS. Uh, he opened up my eyes, and so apparently there's still always going to be a delay because of all of the processing that's taking place. I am capturing, it is being sent to the computer. The computer then is uploading it to YouTube, and YouTube is doing processing for you to be able to see it, whatever it is that the YouTube does in that processing step. So that will add many, many seconds to when I do something and when you actually see it. So that is going to be something that I'm just going to have to put up with. They recommend that you turn off all your audio captures on your camera and just use your microphone and use a headset so that you can hear yourself on the actual computer and not what you are saying. It takes a bit of getting used to, but I was somewhat successful last night. I did a test in private and uh, it worked all right. And I finally got OBS to recognize my video source. I learned how to enter the encryption key. And so pretty soon I'll have this down pat. I may have to order a nicer web type camera or web capture type uh, camera and they recommended one particular model and a uh, microphone condenser type microphone and a little audio capture device that will help to produce the best audio possible for this type of application all right thank you once again don't forget to subscribe share and like and until the next time happy printing i'll be back with more images and also with a couple of other subjects pretty soon probably tomorrow. All right. Thank you once again. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.